Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to Taco Bell. Taco Bell! Uh, they have some, um, I'm going a little earlier than they actually come out. They're having a rewards member, um, ex like early preview. So by the time you see this video, it will be out. I think they come out on uh, the 21st. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go through drive through I've already ordered through the app. I'm going to go through drive through and pick it up and I'll take you with me. All right, let's get around to the drive through I think I can go down through here. Yep, yep, yep. And I'll tell you what I got um, once I pick it out. Yeah, it's uh, I got an online order for Kevin Dunn. Thanks. I have just a couple hot sauces. That's more than enough. Thank you. Oop. I don't know if I need the hot sauces, but hey, it's always good to have a couple of them. Uh, there's a van blocking the road. All right, so I'm going to go over to my normal spot and uh, park. I'll go this way. Um, and then I'll show you what I got. I got there's three different items. <laughs> That's the thing about Taco Bell. You can't go to Taco Bell and just order one thing. That'd be nuts. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy to order just one thing at Taco Bell. It also looks like it's going to rain on me here in just a minute. So that could be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so here is what I got. These are the uh, the new Cantina chicken. Uh, that's the the whole deal. Is the it's got they've got a new chicken that's coming out. It's called Cantina chicken. So I got the Cantina chicken burrito, which is right here. The uh, Cantina chicken quesadilla, which is right here. It looks like you get four of them. And you get some sauces and you get the salsa that goes with the burrito and those. And then this is the Cantina chicken bowl. And I'll go through what all's in all of these in just a second and the prices and stuff. But the, this is what I got. Lots of good food. Looks really, really good. Hey, right, let me tell you what what they are and what you get with them. So the burrito it just says grilled to perfection, filled with purple cabbage and pico de gallo sauce, um, and it's the cantina chicken, of course. The quesadilla is covered in cheese and designed for dipping. Um, and like I said, they give you the the avocado verde salsa. Um, you can also put that on the burrito as well. And in the bowl is and like i said the quesadilla is also in the chicken and then the can the cantina chicken bowl is filled with slow roasted chicken seasoned rice black beans avocado ranch sauce reduced fat sour cream lettuce shredded purple cabbage freshly prepared pico de gallo homemade daily guacamole and cheddar cheese um the bowl was 7.89 the quesadilla was 6.49 and the burrito was 5.99 and I think the size reflects, although the quesadilla, I'm surprised it's 649 because it's not that big, honestly. Um, and it says the chicken, the cantina chicken is its new, Taco Bell's new slow roasted chicken available as part of the can, uh, can, cantina, yeah, cantina chicken menu. And they've got, they're going to have like the, there's also a soft taco and a crunchy taco you could get as well. I just didn't get those in this particular meal. Um, and when's it going to be available? It's going to be a regular um, item on their menu on March 21st, which is today for you all. Uh, but rewards member gets early access. So if you happen to try them early, if you reward them or you try them early, that's awesome. You, you got them, you got them a little early. So I'm going to cover the bowl up and I'm going to sit it up here out of the way. I don't want to try that one first. I'm really interested in trying the quesadillas first. And it looks like you get, looks like you get um, sour cream. Yep. 
So you got a, a cup of sour cream. And what sleeves I took my coat off because I don't like eating with my coat on. It's it's annoying. And you get guacamole. Um, sometimes I like guacamole, sometimes I don't. So we'll see what this is like. And then you get the quesadillas, which are very, very thin. I mean, that's almost that's almost paper thin, the filling is. I mean, you don't get much of anything, but I'm going to try it. Maybe dig deep, deeper, it'll be a little bit more in it. I like the flavor of the chicken. The chicken has a really nice um, flavor to it. It's a little spicy too. Not like really hot, but it is a little spicy. Let me try it with some more guacamole. Mm. Oh yeah, that piece of um, quesadilla has a little bit more on it. It looks really crispy, but it's not really crispy. It's really soft. It's browned. But it's not what I would call crispy. I wonder what it tastes like with the sour cream. Mm. I like it with the sour cream. Let's try it with the avocado salsa verde. You just pull it off and it's got like a little squeeze thing at the top of it. Let's squeeze some on there. Yeah, that chicken is a little, um, it has a little spice to it. So... Don't expect it to be like not spicy at all. So I just squirted some sauce on there. It's a little runny. Hmm. It's kind of like a, a peppery salsa, which it is salsa. Um, the verde is green, so that makes sense. So yeah, it's 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 a green pepper salsa. It says it has avocado in there. Um, I don't really necessarily get the avocado. I'll tell you what, there is some heat in all of this though. A little drink. Yeah, it definitely has some, um, just a little kick in the back of your throat. So I got um, those two little pieces of quesadilla. And then there's two more pieces at the bottom. So it looks like they took, I haven't got one of our quesadillas in, in ages. It looks like the, what was on the bottom is actually a little thicker. Well, I'm gonna end up dropping it on the floor. This, this piece right here in particular is a little thicker. This one's not quite as thick, but it's also a lot, it's a lot mushier back here in the back. Um, I don't mind that, that um, salsa. That's actually nice. I wish it was a little thicker, but it has a nice flavor to it. Very green pepper. Like, not green bell peppers, but like green peppers. Um, not bad. And the salsa, the salsa is not what's well, hot. It's the actual chicken itself that's a little spicy. Let me try some guacamole again. Yeah, I like that. The quesadilla, it's definitely good. I think it's a little... Um, I think it's a little expensive for what you get because really you'd only get those um, it's like two soft tacos um, folded over chicken and cheese that's basically what it is um, again it's not bad it's just uh, I don't know that you get your money's worth really so let me try the burrito next and I don't have a don't have a knife to cut or anything so I'm just going to go in they, they did toast this one really nicely and it's really held together well, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go on this end. Hmm. I get the crunch of that purple cabbage in there, but it's really creamy because it's got some uh, like sour cream or something in there. There's quite a bit of chicken in there, actually. Um, I think you get more chicken in this than you did in the quesadilla, for sure. It looks that way, at least. 
And then it's also filled with all that, um, with a little bit of, not all that, with uh, some cabbage too. And I'm gonna squirt some of the salsa on here. Yeah, that's my only complaint about the salsa. It's a little, it's a little runny. I was, I was hoping it'd be a little chunkier and it's a little runnier, it's a little watery. You can see how green it is though. It's like fluorescent almost. Hmm. Yeah, it's completely full. I mean, it's full of stuff. I think if you like, I think if you like a seasoned chicken that does have a little bit of heat to it, so it does have a little kick of heat to it, um, then you'll really like this uh, cantina chicken because I do like the flavor of it quite a bit. Let's try it with some sour cream. Mm. That's really good with some sour cream. And I'm not a really huge guacamole fan, so I'm not worried about that, but it is really, really good. And it, it's chicken from end to end. I mean, I haven't I haven't stopped getting chicken. So that is really, really good. Um, it depends on really what you're looking for. If you're looking for a more, um, a heartier item with a little bit more of the chicken flavor and the, the you know, like that little crunch of the, of the cabbage and stuff, get the burrito if you're looking more of a chicken and cheese kind of thing um, get the get the quesadillas i don't think you'll be i don't think you'll be unhappy with either one of those honestly um they did give me three of these sauces let me let me shift some stuff around here just so i don't drop anything in the floor which is my luck i would end up dropping something okay let me get this bowl I mean, I've tried the bowl without anything, of course, but just what's in the here. They did give me a fork. They actually gave me two forks. I don't know what you'd use the other fork for. The bad thing about the bowl is it's all kind of separate. Um, it's all kind of uh, it's in its little separate like sections, so you kind of have to mix it all together, and they don't and they give you some chicken they give you more i think they give you more lettuce and rice for sure than anything there's lots of black beans in here um they did give you some chicken i mean let me hold on let me stab this piece of chicken they did give you some some shredded chicken but there's not a lot in here just to let you know um it's not like you're getting chicken at like a chipotle or qdobas or something they're not giving you that much chicken because those places really pile you up in, as far as the chicken goes. Let me just try some. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Rice and lettuce, beans, everything. Um, nice flavors. Again, you really taste that chicken. Um, especially when you get the chicken. I didn't get any guacamole last time. Yeah, look at this big piece of chicken. I wish they'd shredded the chicken up a little bit more or given you a little bit more chicken because I think that's where the bowl kind of falls a little flat. I mean, it's not like you don't get any, but you don't get a lot. Let's put it that way. It's not like the burrito where they, where it's all through there from, from beginning to end. Um, you probably get as much chicken in the bowl as you do in the um, the quesadilla. Because, you know, the quesadilla didn't have a ton of it in there either. Although, do I have to say, I like the bowl. I like the addition of the, the black beans in here. Uh, the guacamole actually has a really good flavor, especially when you mix it in with everything else. Let me try a little bite. Or some of the salsa. And I'm thinking the salsa might be new too. I don't know. I've never seen the, I've never seen that salsa before. So I don't, you'll have to let me know if you eat at Taco Bell all the time. Is that, um, is that avocado verde salsa? Is that new? Hmm. Yeah, it just adds a little bit more, um, flavor to it. 
Uh, I lost my chicken. It's a bad thing about eating in the car. You drop it on yourself and you're just like wearing it for the rest of the day, pretty much. Um, yeah, the bowl is good. I just, the only way you can, I mean, you have to compare it to um, other bowls that you may have had, like at Qdoba's and at, at um, um, isn't it awful when things just like lose, you lose your mind. Um, the other place that has bowls because of the sea. Um, <laughs> you, I know you're screaming at the screen right now. Um, what's that? Is it Chewy's? Yeah. No, not Chewy's. No, not Chewy's. Is it Chewy's? No, it's not Chewy's. I'll think of it in a minute. Anyway, the difference is I like the bowls there better. First of all, you can, you can customize them a little bit more than you can with this. Um, because this is kind of, it is what it is, and there's a lot of rice in there. But I don't have a problem with it. It's good. So if you're at Taco Bell and you want to get, um, if you're interested in getting a, a bowl instead of a tortilla or a burrito or something, you can definitely get it. It's good. The, uh, the, I hate to say it, the beans, the sour cream, and the chicken are the best part. The lettuce and the guacamole are just kind of like fillers, but um, unfortunately, they just don't give you a lot of chicken. That's that's my that's my biggest downfall for the bowl. Is they just give you this little bitty pile of chicken that's, like I said, probably about as much as the quesadilla is. Um, I do like the avocado verde salsa, the green salsa. I do like the flavor of that. It's very... Um, like that green peppers kind of flavor so you know you know what you're getting in for it doesn't taste like the guacamole that's different um, but it does have more of that green peppers kind of flavor it's not super strong it's not spicy at all that i could tell but it is um does have that kind of green flavor of course the guacamole is really green um me personally i would probably get the burrito again and i think you just get more for your money and i think that was the cheapest one of the three <laughs> look to be sure yeah yeah that was the cheapest one and that's what I would get again is the burrito because I really like the burrito. And it was easy to eat. So you could hold it in your hand and eat it. Um, I'm going to give all of these though. The bowl, I'm going to give a little bit less because it, it was only, um, it did, you just don't get a lot of chicken for it. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. I really did like it. You just don't get a lot of chicken for it. The fajita, you know what? I'm going to give the fajita the same thing because you don't get a lot of chicken with it either. But the flavors were really good and you really tasted the chicken. So uh, I'm going to give it a four as well. And I'm going to give a burrito a four and a half out of five because I do like that better. Um, you know, there's really nothing they could do different to it, except, um, you know, add some more seasoning or something to it, but it's really nice and it, it's good size and the price, it's, I think it's a good price. So I'm gonna give it a four and a half. It's not something I'd want to eat all the time. I still think I'd prefer the beef burritos to the chicken, but like I said, if you like chicken, that's got a little bit of spice to it. Um, I think you'll really, really enjoy them. So I hope you enjoy this video. Catch you next time.